You're telling me, or I'm telling you, you can sleep five people in this? you doggone right, let me show you. This is how you would sleep five in a mini. The Keystone Passport Ultralight Mini. It's a brand new line this year, and this is the 170BH. Five people in a slideless RV that's 21 feet, four inches, barely 3,500 pounds dry. Single over single bunks in the rear here with the Teddy Bear Series mattress, 150 pound capacities on each bunk. But the thing I like about it, I got a mushroom light here, dual USB charging there, mushroom light here, and I think I got a oh, person on the bottom, you get no charging. But you know what? The mini series is kind of going back to that classic feel of the RVs. You're going to give up a few features because Keystone has streamlined everything. Passport SL, this uh, is, is still gonna be lightweight feature packed. You got the hyperdeck flooring, color-coded wiring, thermoplastic duct joiners, Keystone quality manufacturing, but you get a few things like Solar Flex prep instead of Solar Flex. You don't have a solid step over step. You don't get USB charging on the bottom bunk. It, you're giving up a few of those features because the aggressiveness of this year of what Keystone wants to do with the travel trailers is providing you at a price point I think everybody's gonna love. Because at the end of the day, everybody needs to be able to go camping. All right, this is bolted in, so I can't get to it. Why? Because there's storage on the outside. That's why, and it's nice and it's finished off. Over on the campsite is where you're gonna find your GE 10.7 cubic foot fridge freezer combo. It is 12 volt, uh, it is vibration smart, it's frost resistant, uh, and I gotta tell you, the adjustable shelves, you even got the little bottle holders here, really does a good job of giving you some good space for camping. And since it's 12 volt, you can run it while going down the road. Your bathroom is nestled here in the rear. Got the high-rise plastic bowl with the foot flush right there. I got me another little inverted outlet here, and I tell you, having the Solar Flex Prep is a great option. Go ahead and buy it. Get an upgrade. Get an additional solar panel. Get an additional propane tank. Get you what you need so you and your family can enjoy being out camping. But if you don't need it, guess what? You don't have to get it. Mirrored medicine cabinet, don't you love that? I'm a philosopher. Solid hideaway hinges in the cabinetry here. Once again, quality construction. Keystone did not have to put that in this coach. Vanity, sink, corner mounted shower. Now it might get a little tight in here and my big old noggin, my big old juice bottle on top of my shoulders. I do need this space because I'm tall. If I didn't, I'd be hitting my head over here. But vent and fan, decorative curtain for my shower. I got the surround here. It looks like I'm 30 by 36 or maybe this is 30 by 48. That's, I don't know, it's a big space. I'm not a mess, I'm not a mathematician. Corner notches, and of course my shower nozzles. Uh, I gotta tell you, this I'm not that cramped. I thought I was gonna be cramped, cause it's slideless. So okay, I mean I've seen this floor plan before. I'm, ah, maybe I'm just okay. Maybe I've lost some weight. I don't know, but I like it. Over here on the campsite, I got oversized kitchen cat. And speaking of oversized. Look how large your sink is, high-rise faucet. I got the stand-up window here with the blinds. If I wanna check on the kids on the campsite, I absolutely can. Also got a little extended lip here, giving me a little bit of prep space. Uh, I guess most of the prep space would be here or you get a cover for there. Uh, you do not have the glass cover for your two burner cooktop. Once again, it's going into that mini kind of classic theme, but you do have the suburban two burner cooktop. Fury and hood, graystone flush mounted microwave flat faced cabinetry here with the matte black pulls loving that because it's modern it's it's kind of european i like it solid wood construction on my drawers too full extension on the ball bearing drives got me a little grab and go storage there okay not too bad not too shabby okay more storage here high output furnace high output furion ac with the quick cool dump and check out my oversized booth dinette. This could fit four people here. And usually in slideless coaches, I'm used to seeing the smaller dinette where maybe it's like a twin size bunk. This, I wouldn't sleep two people on it, but could you get two people on it? Yes, because this reduces down into a sleeper. I got storage under both sides, oversized panoramic window, wood balance, inverted outlet here, more storage up top, and a 32 inch Summit TV with the key TV multi-source connection. 
And last but not least on the inside, the master suite. Queen size bed nestled east to west. Got storage underneath, storage up top, little shelf space down there. Probably big enough for a CPAP machine too, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, well, I mean, mine, I got the little AirSense 11, so it's only like, you know, that big. So it, it would fit under here for sure. Uh, but you do have some nightstand space there. Ward space, window. I got to tell you, I understand that for the Mini, they are giving up some features, some amenities that we've seen over the last few years. I'm not really feeling the impact of those, though, because... I'm standing right here looking at a tankless water heater as well as all of my commands for my fresh tank, my battery, run out my awning, which is electric. Okay, tell you what, I got a cool thing to show you outside. Uh, not as cool as this hot, well, you know what? Hot water heater is pretty cool too, but let's go outside, let me show you. I mean, tankless water heater, that's awesome. You know what else is awesome? How about a tempered tinted glass door? Yes on an entry level RV for the family. They call it the G-Class, I just call it Class E. Not to mention, got the oversized grab handle, doubles as the door guard there, and the steel fold-up steps. Once again, with the Mini, they're going back to more of that classic style, just like with the Solar Flex prep, as opposed to having the actual Solar Flex on. You're giving up a few features for a price point I think you're really gonna like. Fiberglass siding. Extra large awning here with the light strip. It is powered, plus it's got the adjustable pitch for the awning. I got the torsion axle here on the steel rim. This outlet, if you do want to get the solar flex, is inverted, plus it's GFCI. Come up to the front, check out my storage. Not only is it finished off, even right up here in the front cap, you get a good shot of that aluminum superstructure this beauty's made of. And another thing that I really like, it's not just a plastic clip or a little magnet that holds this. This is a magnetic clasp. I love that. Got the locking. You got your manual stabilizer jacks, manual tongue jack, 20 pound LP tank, uh, all seated on that solid welded frame. Plus you got the battery disconnect. And if you want to get the uh, solar panels to get you some additional charge to your batteries, you already have the quick connect right there in the corner and of course super flex seamless roof all the way over the top sure you don't have the power stab jacks the power tongue jack but that's okay i mean at the end of the day can you get it added can our folks add anything sure at a camping world you can get whatever you want it added onto it i mean you're already set up for backup camera so you might as well go ahead and get it you already have a very nice full-size spare tire mounted on the back nice to have arch ceilings with the rain nozzles to make sure the rain the snow doesn't stay on top of this coach more importantly fall on you or the awning do have your sewer hose storage located right there rear stabilizer jacks main terminations right here and for this one you got 37 and dual 30s 37 gallon fresh 30 gallon gray 30 gallon black but another storage compartment here, once again, with that magnetic clasp. I like how it's there and not just a little tab, but good space, maybe for one of the bags that you need to pack all your clothes in while camping. Back of your hot water heater, cable connection, 30 amp plug. Well, right there's the other rim of your torsion axle. Come around here to the front off camp side, and this is where you're gonna have your city water connection, your fresh tank fill, as well as the other side of your front pass-through storage. And the sealed safety windows with the 80% tint, I like how they look, I like how they help. More importantly, look how big they are on a coach this size. That's pretty doggone nice. So, most important part of any coach, boo, right there, info panel. This beauty, unloaded weight, you're looking at 3550. Gross vehicle weight, you're looking at 5,000 pounds. I mean, for a coach, barely 22 feet, not really can sleep five easily, slideless. It's the Passport Mini Ultralight, the Ultralight Series by Keystone. So you know you're gonna get those calling cards, color-coded wiring, hyperdeck flooring, gonna get the Tough Lock thermoplastic duct joiners, one of the best built RVs in the industry. And now they've gotten so aggressive with what they've done and streamlined everything so they can pass along some savings to you. They finally made it right, at the right time for the right family to go camping. And I got to tell you, I like that. I like that for you. So if you want to pick up the brand spanking new 2024 Keystone Passport Mini Ultralight, this beauty is the 170 BH. Just look at it. Get that, Ryan. Look at it. She short, she cute. I like it.
You can get it today at your local Camping World. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. And please click like, subscribe, and notify. I'm Chris Young. Enjoy your new passport. I'll see you soon.